Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome back to Hush Hush. Wait a minute. <sighs> Again. <laughs> Last time we uh, did the second chapters for Eero and Mio. So this time, uh, and I've been meaning to get to this for a bit, we're gonna head to the cafe to see Cassie once again. Let's -a go date. Let's go back to the cafe. Loading. Arriving the cast arriving at the cafe right on time. You don't see Cassie anywhere. Typical. You take a seat at one of the tables and those rushes over to you right away. Oh yeah! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House! Hello. Always a pleasure to see you. Can I get you anything? I just made some banana bread. Would you care for a slice? No, thank you. I don't like banana bread. What she really means is she took the pre-cooked bricks out of the freezer and put them into the toaster oven. Hmm. <laughs> Dimitri! That's a lie and you know it! Watch yourself or I'm going to freeze a loaf and throw it at you. Ah. <sighs> Normal siblings. Aha, Lotus. You're such a kidder. Anyway, is there anything you like? Yeah, make that two banana breads. I've got a date. Wonderful. They're free of nuts and 100% vegan friendly. Coming up. Vegan friendly? You know, they say you are what you eat. That's why I only eat vegans. Jesus, uh, fucking Christo. Dimitri, don't be weird. Just then, the door swings open. You hear from your voice. Oh, shit. Hey! Now, who's a girl gotta get frisky with for a decent cup of coffee? <laughs> I... You startle me! Ah, Cassie. My warrior princess. Come to burn away the darkness with her fiery spirit. I like that nickname. Dimitri, don't you be getting all flirty with me. You put those dreamy lavender eyes away. I'm not falling for it. Ah, the sweet anguish of my reputation preceding me. Lotus is like, fuck. Lotus, brew me up a cappuccino, would you love? A proper Italian cap. None of this confused microwave bean water everyone's so fond of. Is that something related to Starbucks? I don't know. Right away, Cassie. I will pour my heart into it. Look at that. Thanks, doll. And look who decided to show. Honestly wasn't sure if you were gonna stand me up or not, gotta say. I got a vibe last time I might have scared you off. Oh yeah, that was today. <laughs> you sack of crap. You really have a way with the ladies, don't you? I kind of do. Sounds like I gotta make more of an impression this time. I can dig a challenge. So our last date was fun. I wonder what we're gonna get up to this time. Got any big surprises lined up? Are we gonna beat up another teenager? That's child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and we beat up teenagers on the first date. We'll need to find an elderly person for sick. Jesus Christ. Um, I got this plan to spill coffee on your clothes, forcing the removal. Jesus. Uh... You better not. I'm wearing my favorite bra under this number. Now I'll unleash wrath on anyone who harms it. All right. Here's the banana bread you ordered. And your cappuccino, Miss Cassie. Banana bread? Whose bright idea was this? Oh, yeah, she doesn't know. Oh, uh, it was my, uh... Suggestion, Miss Cassie. She's just teasing you, Lotus. She's she obviously needs something to keep her mouth busy. Damn. Excuse me? <laughs> you really
really are a piece of work, ain't ya? It's all good, Lotus. Thanks for the Gino. You're a doll. By the way, Miss Cassie, I just wanted to let you know that we'll be closing in about 50 minutes, so... Oh, what? So? So what? Sounds like something you could have told us in 15 minutes, eh? Did you miss that we're on a date here? Oh, I did not mean to be rude, Miss Cassie. Can you believe this girl? Cassie, drink your cappuccino. You're grouchy. You need caffeine. Whoa! Oh, is that a fact? Indeed. Well, far be it from me to make a scene. Thank you, Lotus. We're gonna be shutting down the place tonight. We'll let you know if we want anything else. Sounds good, Miss Cassie. Thank you. So normally when I'm taking a coffee break, my favorite thing to do is for a way to distract myself. I wonder what we could get up to. Oh, look at this guy walking in. Hmm. Hey, is it Eli? Hey, good evening, Lotus. Am I too late to grab a water and a protein square? Kelby! Hoya! Aloha! And hello! You're not too late. You made it with time to spare. Great! I ran double time from the gym. Kelby. Sounds great! I'll be right there with your order. See that jersey? Regional team. Bunch of local band boys like wearing their jerseys. Ah, uh, I wonder why. Watch this. Hey, pal! Nice jersey! I like it when garbage is properly labeled. That only reminded me of that one part from Sonic Boom. The TV show, not the games. Yeah, I don't wear the logo of the losing team. You don't have any Sonic hats in there, do you? Whoa, what? Hey, what the heck is your problem? No problems, especially because my friend here is particularly good at bouncing punks who like Breton and ladies. Right? I feel similarly about that sports team. Classy, you guys really need to learn some better sportsmanship. And you need to learn how to pick better teams to cheer for. Is that so relatable with the fucking Detroit, with our fucking teams in Michigan right now? Toxic. You guys are everything wrong in sports. I'm out of here. Here's your order, Kelby. Thanks, Lotus. See you around. Well, no one can accuse me of being boring. Boring, you say? She takes a sip from her drink, closing her eyes for a moment. She sighs with a deep breath, breathy groan, her eyes sparkling as she looks at you and me again. Mm, nothing beats a proper chino to warm a girl from the inside. Hmm. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Wanna help me play a little trick on Lotus and Dimitri? Hells yes, what's the plan? Aha, nice. That's the spirit I like to hear in an accomplice. Okay, here's the first step of the plan. Dimitri and Lotus both have their own keys for locking up when they close. Lotus keeps hers on a lanyard in the back. Way too risky ultra security back there. Hmm. Dimitri, however, keeps his on top of the fridge behind the counter. Because otherwise he loses it. When Lotus goes into the back, I'll distract Dimitri. You off the counter and grab the key. He won't even miss it, because Lotus always locks up anyway. Okay. Once we have the key, we move on to step two, which I'll explain later. Oh, okay. So, you win. It better be good at distracting because I'm not super stealthy. Yeah, all right. This is gonna be money. You and Cassie away for 
for Liz to go into the back carrying out a garbage bag. Okay, here we go. Showtime. Get your game face on. Showtime. Dimitri, come here a sec. I got a bone to pick with you about my girl, Lily. Ah, Cassie. The sound of your anger makes my heart race. Makes my forehead sweat. Is this what love feels like? Don't you be getting fresh with me, Dee. I know you told Liliana you'd see her at the club last week and you didn't show. How are you gonna play my girl like that? Wait a minute, who the hell's Liliana? Hmm. That does not sound like Dimitri. Are you sure you are not mistaking me for one of Liliana's slightly less attractive boyfriends? You calling me stupid? Cassie, all the things I would call you are either sexy or scary. Usually both. Don't change the subject. Oh shit, hold on, let me turn on auto for this. Oh. Cassie gives you a wink. It's probably time to do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. How to kind of take the key. You successfully take the key and return to your seat. All right, Dimitri. I'm letting you off with a warning this time. I have never been so relieved in my life. I wonder what the conversation was about. You said it. You better text my girl and make it up to her. I am literally texting her now. Sexily. She will blush. Ah, uh, Dimitri's sexting this Liliana. Good to hear. Cassie rushes back to the table, her eyes sparkling with glee. Did you do it? Did you get the key? Easy peasy. Yes, all right! You majestic beast, well done, well done! Okay, okay, let's bounce and wait for the store to close. Then we'll move on to phase two. The two of you get up from, from your table and make your way outside. Good night, you two. Come again soon. You got it, Lotus Baby. I'll be in for my usual tomorrow. Ooh. Hmm. Flame bugs are going to sink. Sad. As you step outdoors, a warm summer wind nearly takes Cassie's hand. She giggles and pushes you toward the alley. Okay, easy peasy. Now we just gotta wait for them to lock up and... Yo, Cassie, what's going on? You turn to see a girl with intense eyes coming from the alley. She's speaking to Cassie, but her eyes are locked on me. Liliana, oh my god, you scared the crap out of me! What are you doing skulking around in the dark? Looking for a bite to eat? You missed the dumpsters back there. <laughs> Who's this? Wait a minute. Their name is Nunya, as in Nunya business. Aw, shit, son. Ooh, you better write yourself a prescription for that sick burn. Oh, wait, you can't. Cassie, you and me. Let's chat. Hmm. Ugh, whatever. Hold on a sec, okay? Girl talk. Lily and I are just gonna share some gossip and then we'll get back to our evil plan. You're good. Cassie and Lily are step away. Listen to the conversation. And I told you that when I'm off the clock, I'll wear what I want, eat what I want, and bang who I want. Is this how it's going to be, Cass? You're gonna make me bottom bitch you every week because someone's caught you slipping. If you're tired of talking to me, I'll run this up the chain. Just say the word. Mm -hmm. Damn, you really know how to ride a girl's ass. No need to run anything up anywhere. I'll be good. Now give me a smile. You're gonna give yourself stress lines, ruin that pretty face of yours. 
Don't give me another reason to talk to you before the job next week. What the fuck's the job? Sorry about that. Liliana's my manager, I guess. Okay. She's just a sock puppet, you know? Someone's always got the hand up for business. It makes you cranky. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could take her. <laughs> oh, wow, my hero! Ready to rumble with some thuggish gal on the street? Let me, let me at her. Cute <laughs> loon. All right, back to the action. Looks like the coast is clear in the old cafe shop. You ready to cause a little mischief? Hmm? <laughs> I mean, we got the key. It would be weird not to. You have a way with words that makes me sort of excited and nervous at the same time. Okay, Indeed. let's go. Cassie rushes over to the entrance quickly, fumbling with the keys and finding the one marked for the front door. She turns the lock with a loud click and gestures for you to go inside. After you! Go in. Quickly now. One sec, I gotta disarm the alarm. Honk, honk, honk! I got the code once by watching Lotus key it in. She's too short to block anyone's view of the keypad. Poor thing. Huh. 911. Award number three extra launch. <laughs> Cassie types a four digit number into the pad. A loud beep indicates the alarm is off now. Cassie jumps onto the counter, crossing her legs and smiling deviously at me. Even in the dark, her eyes sparkle with mischief. So. You guess why I brought you here tonight? Have you figured out my evil plan? Are you robbing the place? Even with a girl like Cassie, I don't think she would rob the place. Well, I know what I'd like to do with you on that counter. Oh. She smiles knowingly, letting your suggestion hang in the air for a moment. Hold that thought, sweet cheeks. Let's get drinks before we get dessert. Hmm? No schnookums. I brought you here because now I got a little dirt on you. Of course you have. Rather, we've got a little dirt on each other. A secret you and I get to keep. Or else we both get in trouble. I mean, what's a little trespassing between friends? That's true. Kinky. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it kind of is. It's certainly the kind of excitement I enjoy. Hmm. Think of this more as an initiation. Initiate what? Look, I can sort of tell what's going on. I think maybe you're pretty into me. And if I'm being honest, might be considering being into you too. Hmm. I got a lot of crap going on in my life. I don't know. I got trust issues, I guess. Huh. I'd like to see where this goes. So, initiation. You're literally the worst person at flirting ever. Literally a criminal. <laughs> now, now. Let's not start name calling. There's a presumption of innocence in our legal system, I'll remind you. Hmm. Last week, I was ready to twist your delicate parts into pretzels. Oh my god. <laughs> and this week, well, things are different. Of course. Look, I don't really know how I can make it more Clear, so I'll just show you. Show me what is the question. 
Cassie hooks her thumbs into the waistband of her pants and slowly pulls them. Slides off her jacket and tosses her hat on the ground. Of the ball cap. Her hair tosses into two ponytails, falling over on her shoulders like Satan. And she turns her back and pulls her panties off slowly, revealing her soft blush of her pussy. I want you to have right here, right where we might get caught. Sensor. <laughs> she spreads herself open for me. Oh boy. So, you don't like getting to know me? I mean, do the obvious. Because that's what it says in the guide. Do it. Okay! <laughs> oh shit! She pulls you to her, pressing herself against you. Your hands slide down between her legs as you begin to kiss her. Oh, she's. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna censor this. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh boy. Soon she gets you to your mouth through your pussy, and on softly as you take her in your mouth. After only a few minutes, she covers her mouth and moans through a short but powerful orgasm. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. After an hour, the two of you finish together. Oh, wow. Well, that was fun. <laughs> oh, nice. The two quickly address and kiss before she tells you to run off. You can still taste the distant flavor. Of espresso from her lips by the time you make it home. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hush hush video. It's a short one, but whatever, you know. Uh, like if you're new, subscribe if I fuck up my outro again. But um, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, share if you're an existing subscriber, because uh, let's keep the views going, because. Uh, you guys have been killing it. So thanks again and goodbye.